finding concentration of each substance at equilibrium. In this problem it says consider the following equilibrium reaction. PCL5 go, be, pr produces or yields PCL3 plus Cl2 or chlorine gas. So given that KQ for this reaction is 1.80, what is the concentration of each substance if 5.0 moles of PCL5 was initially introduced into a one liter vessel. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to see that we have to first figure out what KEQ is. So KEQ is actually the concentration of PCL3 times Cl2 and notice that their uh, exponents are just one because their coefficients are just one and then P over PCL5. So that is the equilibrium expression for this problem. Now we have to understand how this is going to work. So initially we have 5.00 moles of PCL5 and then we have 0 moles of this and 0 moles of this. Now we know there's going to be a change in the concentration so we're going to use the variable x to represent the change in concentration. So what's going to happen? Uh, so what's going to happen here is we're going to have 5.00 minus x for this for PCL5 because we know that it's going to be that's how much the concentration is going to change by x. But we also know that the concentration is going to change and add the same number of moles to the other side. So we'll have x for PCL3 uh, uh, PCL3 we're going to have and then for Cl2 we're also going to have x. So there's going to be an addition of x and an addition of x. Now it's also very important to remember because we don't have two, a coefficient of 2 or different things we'd have to multiply this x by the coefficient as well because that's how many moles it's going to be. So if there's one mole if there was one mole of this and it says it's going to make two moles of this, we would have to put 2x. But thankfully, there are none, there's none of that, so we can just put x. So now we have the concentrations at equilibrium that we want. So all I have to do is put them in here. So the first concentration is going to be x, and the second concentration is going to be x as well, because that's PCL3 and then Cl2. And then I'm going to put 5.00 minus x concentration down here. And we know that it's equal to the KEQ of 1.80. So 1.80. So what we have to do is multiply these. We're going to get x squared at the top, x squared concentration over 5.00 minus x. So what we're going to do is put this into quadratic form, so x squared plus 1.80x minus 9.00 equals 0. We're going to do this, we're going to solve this using the quadratic formula, and what we're going to get is two solutions. x is going to be negative 4.03, and then 2.23. We disregard this answer because we know that x is going to be a positive change for Cl3 and Cl2 because there were none of it before. So it's going to be 2.23. Now, we all we have to do is go back to our concentrations and subtract. So 5.00 minus 2.23 is going to yield a different, we're going to get different moles of that. What we're going to see is that since it's one liter vessel, we can also assume that when we divide by one, we also get a molarity of five. So molarity here is going to is going to reflect what we subtract here. So 5.00 minus 2.23 is going to get me 2.77 molarity. 2.77 molarity is that. And now we know that x is 2.23, and we know that that's the exact change we have here and here. So what we're going to get is 2.23 and 
two, three, because we know it's in a one liter vessel. And so the number of moles divided by that one liter is going to get us the molarity as the same number, 2.23. So this is the answer to this problem. Remember to check the coefficients. Remember to have the appropriate equilibrium, equilibrium constant. And remember that you have to you have to assign and make sure that you have the right coefficients here multiplied by this x if you do have coefficients and that you solve using the quadratic formula if necessary.